Russia considers itself a super country with a super history. It behaves as if this status gives it the right to determine the fate of neighboring countries. But let's have a look at whether or not Russia is as great as it thinks. Here are only a few historical facts. Let's begin with the name, Russia. It brings us back to the days of old. The great and powerful medieval state named Rus. Let's look at the capital of Rus. What did Moscow look like those days? Oops. Turns out that the capital of Rus was Kyiv, the capital of modern Ukraine. In the 11th century, there was a stone Christian church being built in Kyiv, St. Sophia Cathedral. Meanwhile, what did Moscow have back then? Oh, a swamp land. By the way, it will have stayed there for two more centuries. Could it be that Ukraine is older than Russia? Let's see what the coat of arms of Rus' ancient rulers looked like. Is it a double-headed eagle? No, it's a trident. It's the coat of arms of modern Ukraine. Now you see the truth. Russia was called Moscovia until the 17th century. And Rus was considered to be Kyiv's territory. Russia has simply stolen its neighbor's name, since it always sought historical grandeur. But let's get back to the super country. In 1514, the Ukrainian general Konstantin Ostrovsky defeated the Russian troops in the Battle of Orsha. Ukrainians had already been using firearms, and Moscow still used bows and arrows. In 1566, printing had already actively developed in Ukraine, and libraries were opened. While in Moscow, they will have stuck to handwriting and considered the printing press evil for a long time. In 1576, Ukrainians founded the Ostroh Academy, one of the biggest educational institutions of those times. The first Russian university will have been opened only 111 years later. But let's also consider the ordinary people. By the end of the 17th century, Ukrainian Cossacks had already been using forks, while for Russians it looked like an oddity. They did not know it was possible to eat using anything else except their hands. And of course, the democratic traditions. In the Middle Ages, the Magdeburg rights were granted to the Ukrainian cities. Cossacks had been electing their hetmans by an open ballot system. Whereas in Russia, the Tsar used to dictate the boyars, who were the ruling elite, every action. He even controlled the length of their beards. Ukrainians know the cost of freedom and always fight for it. Over the last 20 years, five Ukrainian presidents were elected by a democratic popular vote. While for all this time, in Russia, the one and only leader remains in power, Vladimir Putin. While the officials of Ukraine's central and local authorities are defending their country in trenches together with the military, the Russian leadership and Putin personally have been hiding in a bunker somewhere in the Altai. So is Russia really as great as it presents itself?